Kalte, Nugarulu Pom Sara, which in my native Navi language means hello, how are you? My name is, Amina Navi, Raya Avatar. I am a Navi from Pandora, the fifth moon of the planet Polyphemus, which is the fourth planet orbiting the sun star Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is the third brightest star in the night sky as seen from your planet Earth. Alpha Centauri is only four light years from your planet, making it the closest star system to your solar system. Our solar systems are celestial neighbors to one another, and my race visited your planet eons ago. When we visited your planet, human beings worshipped us as deities, and in your Earth year of 10,500 BC, human beings built the Haram Akat, or Great Sphinx of Giza in Egypt, in my image and likeness to pay homage to the arrival of my divine feline race. Other notable divine felines of my race worshipped as deities in Egypt and Nubia include Apodemak, Sekhmet, Bast, Tefnet, Mefdet, Mahes, Wajet, and, Akir. Also, this is why the oldest known statue in the world is the Loan Mensch, which is a 32,000 year old statue of a lion person found in the Swabian mountains of Germany. My people, the Navi, are also related to other feline extraterrestrials including the Pashats from Sirius, the Thundercats, the Lion People, and the Cat People. Feline species are a mixture of reptilian and mammalian, this is why feline eyes are similar to the eyes of reptiles, but yet felines have fur like mammals. This is why on Earth, in the ancient temples of Mithra, a lion-headed figure is often portrayed entwined by a serpent, to show the relationship between felines and reptilians. It is no coincidence that the name of my race, the Navi, is phonetically similar to the Hebrew word for prophet, which is also Navi, as found in the Hebraic Biblical Old Testament. In Arabic, the word for prophet is Nabi. Both Navi in Hebrew, and Nabi in Arabic, are derived from an ancient Mesopotamian deity named Nabu, a god of wisdom, writing, professing, and prophesying. In the movie Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace, the name of the planet which is the home of Queen Padme Amidala, is also called Nabu. Planet Nabu in the Star Wars movie, looks very similar to the home world of the Navi in the Avatar movie. Also similar to the words Navi, Nabi, Nabu or Nebo, is the ancient Egyptian word Nebu. In ancient Egypt, the word Nebu, meant masters, and was a title for a kind of priest or prophet. The Nubian Nebu in ancient Egypt would adorn themselves with leopard skins to honor the divine feline, and secret societies such as the Ekpe still exist in Africa to this very day, which upholds the sacred feline order of the leopard. The word Nebu in ancient Egypt also meant gold, and it is no coincidence that if humans consume a high alkaline diet with trace minerals like colloidal silver and monatomic gold, your skin will turn blue like the color of the Navi in the Avatar movie. In our native language, Navi means the people, and there are a group of people in Kenya and Uganda who call themselves Nubi, which they also say means the people. The deity of the Navi people is a force called Awa. Awa is connected to everything on our planet, and she maintains perfect balance and harmony. On Earth, the Nubian concept of balance and harmony is called Ma'at. So it is no coincidence that the name of the priestess of the Omatic Kaya clan of the Navi people in the movie Avatar was named Moat. The princess of the Omatic Kaya clan of the Navi people in the movie Avatar was named Nitiri, which is similar to the Nubian word Neteru, which meant God. The name of the Navi Omatic Kaya clan's finest warrior, Sute, is similar to the name of a Nubian warrior deity named Sutak. The name of the Navi clan featured in the Avatar movie was Omatic Kaya, which is similar to a combination of the words Almec and Maya. The Navi greeting, Oil Nagati Kamea, which in English means I see you, is similar to the Nubian South African phrase, Sabani Bonani, which also means I see you. I, Amina Navi, Rea Avatar, of the Ninth Navi Sacred Feline Order, will speak to you of one of the great mysteries of our spiritual science Nuwafu. The divine number of felines is the number nine, this is why it is said that cats have nine lives. The precious mineral called unobtainium found on our home world, is what humans have come to know in alchemy as the philosopher's stone. The way we Navi produce so much unobtainium, is through applying a secret from our spiritual science of Nuwafu. Imagine that there are two spheres, a celestial sphere, and a terrestrial sphere. The celestial sphere we call Nu, and the terrestrial sphere we call Vu, which gives us the name of our spiritual science called Nuwafu. The celestial sphere represents the mental and spiritual world. The terrestrial sphere represents the physical world of actions and tangible things. Of course, the mental and spiritual world is what stimulates movement, creation, and action in the physical world. A shorter way to express this science of creation is by saying, thoughts become things. The celestial sphere is the sky or heaven, and the terrestrial sphere is earth. 
So we can metaphorically say, thoughts become things, by saying, traveling from heaven down to earth, from celestial to terrestrial. Consider this, another way of expressing the word celestial, is by saying extraterrestrial. So another way of expressing the many different thoughts which can become many different things, is by saying extraterrestrials coming to earth. That is the secret, and the Hara Makat, Nubian Great Sphinx of Giza in Egypt, waits facing the stars in the constellation of Leo, for the arrival and return of the Navi. Hotep, peace. A Wabi with you in your travels.